good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time you are watching this. Hope you're having a great day. Upon receiving this message, we've come to see the tortoise. Oh no, good you did. So Romeo has been hibernating He's since September, October time. Both are found me. There we go. But first things first, now that he is out and ready for his year, and probably starving, because he hasn't eaten in like six months. <laughs> but yeah, so it shows how warm it is. We usually get him out around May. But he needs a bath. Step one, you need a little basin type thing. We use the kitchen basin, which might be a bit grim, but we do clean it out properly after. Uh, you want warm water, not cold. It will set him in shock, but not too hot. I'd say that's probably warm enough. Now, you don't want it too deep for the ground. Um, you just want a nice little bit to get the bottom of him. And then we don't want any soap or anything. Oh! Almost threw that all over myself. <laughs> Chloe, could you please bring the kitchen roll? I've never had a cameraman before. It's exciting. He is trying to escape out of Oh, say hey, hello. Hello, everybody. How you doing? He's like trying to swim. He's trying to kick me, look. He can't reach. And then we're just going to gently place him in. Get used to it, mate. It's just a little bit of water. How's that? Is that okay? Can you scream? No. Okay, maybe it's a little bit too much. <laughs> Any of you are wondering why we have a tortoise? I don't really know. <laughs> Great. <laughs> My mum's had him for literally years. She gets scared every year when he comes out of hibernation that he <laughs> might like, have survived. Him. Okay. So now we're gonna get a piece of toilet, Hi, uh, I mean a piece of kitchen roll. Fold it up a little bit and dip it in the water. This is a tutorial of how to bathe your tortoise. Take my ring. And just leave it. <laughs> and you're done. <laughs> He's in there Voila. until September. <laughs> splish, splash, splash. Splish, splash, splash. Splish, splash, splash. Oh. <laughs> Give him a gentle rub and you can see all the dirt come out. We basically do this just because. Um, Why are you shining? It gets, like him, time, yeah. it gets him nice and warm and also um, in his box because it's full of like hay and stuff when he moves around um, obviously he gets like kind of dusty that's all this is so obviously like you can see the colour of his shell he and stuff dusted what are you talking about? hello you pretty you just want to get in all the grooves all the crevices surely they don't like go to the toilet while they're hibernating because they're not eating mm. if any of you know let me know <laughs> I'm trying to like, do a tor tutorial as if I know everything about tortoises and I'm like, I don't know anything. <laughs> All I know is how to wash it, which is pretty straightforward. Back ones. And show me those front ones. Yes, lovely. Can we get a little bit on your head? Well, he's really chill today. He is pretty chill. Under the neck. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And on the bottom of your shell. How's that? Is he like inside the shell? Does he have a body inside the PG? And there you have it. A clean tortoise. <laughs> Absolutely shining. Ready? Watch him run. Go on. Go on, Romeo. Oh, he's running. <laughs> 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 Just hold him on either side under his shell like you would a big subway. What does he feel like? Just shell. hard. You can feel his shell first if you want. It's fine, it's just a hard shell. Yeah, but it moves. It's so weird that that's a real animal. Can you feel that? Mm, it's sort of like nail, I guess. So like, he probably knows you're touching him, but like can't feel it that well. Buddy. No, I'm scared of like panic games. So, top tips on picking up a tortoise. <laughs> you want one hand on this side and one hand on this side. You want to scoop underneath. I usually go for try and be nearer the front because as you can see, they don't really like being held up because this is pretty high up for them. Uh, and he might try and kick you, which a lot of people get scared of. Which is why you want to hold him as close to the front ones because you can't really... He's kind of holding on with his front ones but trying to kick you with his back ones. He's kicking it back. I'm a rocket man. I'm a rocket man. Obviously, all animals are different, um, and maybe your tortoise eats, I don't really know, carrots or grapes or 
oh, so I heard of a meme. Bananas and stuff. Mine likes cucumber and lettuce. Maybe he likes the other things, but that's all he ever gets, so. Let's give him some cuke. No, no, <laughs> escape again that's why we have all these mini fences around the fences come on you cheeky boy yeah, so you are a like cheeky boy. boy look at all that lovely cucumber wow Ooh. is that action shot <laughs> that's it. she's climbing over the cucumber it's mine doing it i'm scared well that's pretty much the end of that he doesn't seem to want to eat his cucumber. I'm sure there'll be updates in the future vlogs, but I hope you learned something about tortoises today. Tortoise. 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 Tortoises. Tortoise. That. Um, this is Romeo, and he's a legend. And he's like, I don't even know how old he is. Older than my mum. But she doesn't know how old he was when she got him, so she's probably going to outlive us all, but. Like, subscribe and all the YouTube things. See you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.